हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द रिवीजन ऑफ द चैप्टर रशियन रेवल्यूशन क्लास नाइन फर्स्ट वी शेल स्टडी अबाउट द कॉजेस ऑफ द रेवल्यूशन ऑफ नाइनटीन नॉट फाइव ड्यूरिंग द जार निकलस टू 1905 revolution occurred during the Tsar Nicholas II The main cause was his own wife Zarina and a will monk a monk who has given wrong advice and these two people were responsible for a corrupt influence everybody was corrupt Tsar Nicholas Rasputin and zarina they were not able to give a stable government the condition of the workers was miserable miserable very bad deplorable condition of the workers deplorable condition very bad condition of the workers their working hours were many there was difference in the wages which were paid to them the metal workers were considered as aristocrats there was discrimination between the men and the women's wage all these were the conditions the prices of the essential commodities was high the prices of the essential commodities whatever was the basic need that needs were not fulfilled the prices were high the real wages were low for example if they are getting 1000 rupees they were not able to buy the goods worth 1000 they were able to buy only goods worth 800 or 700 so value of money is low and the value of the goods was high the peasants were not satisfied they were unhappy because majority of the land was with the nobility they had very little land land was with the czar land was with the well to do sections these peasants they had a commune the commune or the group of the peasants was called as mir m i r the group of peasants was called as mir the commune of peasants was called as mir i am only covering the essay type questions children you have to refer the objectives for entire objective type you need to read the textbook thoroughly the next cause is the political parties the influence of the political parties the socialistic ideology which emerged with the karl marx frederick engels louis blank these all people they advocated right to work for the people and a father of modern scientific socialism karl marx he has given in his uh, books das capital and communist manifesto that one day the proletariat is going to rule proletariat means the working class is going to rule and this uh, marxist ideologies the socialist ideologies the gap between the rich and the poor has to be reduced for this he conveyed three international first international second international third international there he conveyed how the working class should get justice so the based on the socialistic ideologies many political parties emerged so you need to mention political parties emerged political parties emerged on the socialistic ideologies of the karl marx frederick engels like that many socialists they influenced the national assembly or the duma of russia it was suspended two times first one was suspended in 75 days next one was suspended in 3 months third one was suspended in i mean he wanted to have the suspension of the liberals and radicals and other democratic ideologies the third one he filled with the conservatives those people who supported the czar made the third duma with conservative people who could support him in this way there was dissatisfaction among the people 
and this paved the way for the corrupt influence of Tsar Nicholas. Apart from this, Tsar Nicholas was responsible for not having a government which can give contentment to the people. So, these are the causes for the uh, Russian Revolution of 1905. What is a bloody Sunday? Bloody means in English anything bad. Bloody Sunday in the terms of Russian Revolution, it means that a demonstration of workers which was led by Father Geppen. Father Geppen, he took G-A-P-O-N. Father Geppen took these people along with their uh, grievances or letters of dissatisfaction. They reached the Winter Palace. When they reached the Winter Palace, the soldiers of the king were asked to control them, shoot them. Many, as many as 200 people were killed and they were attacked by Cossacks. Cossacks are the soldiers on the horses. And so they had to return very disappointed, dissatisfied. They all gathered in a communal, uh, that is a community and they discussed their problems there and uh, their dissatisfaction they expressed. That will come only for three marks. Another answer which can come for three marks is the difference between the liberals and the radicals. What is the difference between the liberals and the radicals? Liberals, as the word itself says, liberal is the word which is derived from the word liber, which means free. These people had a free ideology. They could tolerate uh, all religions. They wanted all religions to be tolerated. The Orthodox Christianity, the modern Protestant church, the Muslim Jadidas, those who were the Muslim reformers, all these people should live in a communal, there should be harmony in the community. There should not be dissatisfaction. So, liberals wanted a nation which could tolerate all religions. So, you are going to focus on the word tolerate all religions. This should be the highlighted point in your answer. On the opposite side, the radicals, they wanted a nation in which the government was based on majority. Majority means a people's rule. They also wanted the universal adult franchise. Liberals also wanted universal adult franchise. But the difference, basic difference between the two is people's government, both of them wanted. But liberals, liberals did not believe in universal adult franchise because they did not give right to vote for women. They were not advocating or preaching right to vote for women. They felt only men of property should have the vote. But radicals, they wanted the women also to have right to vote. And they were opposed to the privileges, the great landowners, the wealthy people. They were having certain privileges because liberals were... Uh, were for the right to property. I mean, those who want to amass wealth, those who want to gather wealth, they can gather. But radicals were opposing to this privileges which some people only are getting. This is the difference between the two. Liberals did not want the right to vote for women. On the other, herd, uh, other side, we have the radicals who wanted right to vote for women. So, these are the points which are to be highlighted here. This will be coming only for 3 marks. Next, February Revolution. This February Revolution, there were several causes for the outbreak of Russian Revolution. So, the Russian Revolution, actually, the uh, because it is in the Northern Hemisphere, mostly affected by cold regions and... Uh, um, the acute climatic conditions, we have all this influence on the Russian uh, working class people. So, what are the causes? Number one, the widespread suffering under autocracy. The Tsar who failed to give autocratic rule for these people. In this case, the Tsar 
had absolute power he had a weak leadership because he was under the influence of two people we studied zarina and rasputin once again the conditions of the people were very poor the low wages and also the workers in the industries they were not taken care properly there was no protection given to them some of the workers were dismissed without any cause and they were supported by other so many people who were uh, i mean supporting them who were raising their uh, objection that what is the cause of dismissal another important cause is defeat of russia in the hands of japan a small island country in 1905 so a small country can defeat a, a big country with such a big territory and it was unnecessarily interfering in the war for which it was wasting the resources so they wanted this uh, war interference to end they wanted the economy to be stable so all those people who were in the industry they had to step down i mean they lost their job because russia was participating in the war so these are all the activities where labor are dissatisfied workers are dissatisfied prices are high there is no stable government working conditions are very deplorable or poor and so the people now started to agitate and go on a strike so basic reasons are these let us come once again widespread suffering czar could not give stable government absolute power of czar was corrupt because under the influence of zarina and rasputin wages were very low industries were hazardous or dangerous because there was no stability production was decreasing russia was defeated in the hands of uh, uh, japan a small country dissatisfaction of say, uh, soldiers the people were uh, now the laborers and all the working class now they started to protest these are the main causes what is the impact of world war 1 on russia so the world war 1 on russia russia joined we know that the cause of the world war 1 is archduke ferdinand and his wife were assassinated austrian prince and his wife were assassinated by a bosnian serb and so austria asked serbia for explanation within 48 hours uh serbia could not give the explanation so austria declared war on serbia russia joined towards serbia's side and they were all called as allies and austria and other group of countries austria germany italy turkey hungary all of them were called as the axis powers so russia supported serbia russia france england these were all allies russia was not directly involved in the war it did not it is not directly having link but on the side of serbia it joined due to its joining in the war its own country faced many problem what are those factors we will see now number 1 is the world war 1 hit the russian industries very badly russian industries already they were very few in number only here and there in the pockets the russian industries existed they were cut off from the industrial goods because the ships which were coming through the baltic sea that baltic sea was controlled by germany germany controlled the baltic sea and all the industrial equipment and other things which were coming to russia they were disintegrated they were broken they were sent to some other places in europe by 1916 railway lines began to break down and all those able bodied and fit people who were there in the industries they were called to work in the war they should represent the war like situation when they went to supply their skill in the war 
there was shortage of labor in the industry this resulted in closing down of the industries and that resulted in shutdown and also shortage of supply and that led to increase in the prices there was absolute scarcity of bread and all other essential commodities this is the cause of world war 1 number 1 world war 1 period 1914 to 1918 this has resulted in the russia's weakening of economy because its own industries had to shut down because the supply which was coming through the baltic sea was controlled by germany and its equipment which was reaching the industries disintegrated or did not come to russia it went to some other places railway lines broke down able bodied men fit men strong men who could contribute to industry were called to supply the war needs and work in the war labor was shortage industries had to close down workshops had to close down and there was absolute shortage this resulted in scarcity of bread and as an essential commodities i hope children this is clear for you this is a five marks question and it will definitely come april thesis we know that the leader of the bolshevik party vladimir elich vlanov lenin he was sent to an exile and after coming from the exile in the month of april he gave his thesis in this april thesis three demands remember it as l b w l land to be redistributed or transferred to the peasants b banks to be nationalized w war to be ended the bolshevik party resolved many problems and the hatred which was there between germany and russia that was resolved by a treaty which was signed at brestplit wosk it will come only for 3 marks children october revolution 1917 october revolution 1917 this took place after the bolsheviks uh, when they planned a seizure of power so this took place under the leadership of lenin there was a conflict between the provisional government and the bolsheviks how did the provisional government come into existence once again we will go to february revolution and come and read so bolsheviks uh, and provisional government had a conflict bolsheviks were afraid that the uh, provisional government will influence the entire region of the country so bolshevik supporters all came together under the leadership of lenin lenin planned a secret seizure or capture of power with the military revolutionary committee you should remember as mrc military revolutionary committee under the leadership of leon trotsky what is the date of seizure it was absolutely kept secret finally on october 24th they planned the seizure when this attempt was known to kerensky he told his ministers to go and take up all the important essential documents and take care of his administrative regions kerensky's government Uh, to seize the bolshevik he advised that is the provisional leader he advised his people to go and seize or capture the bolshevik newspaper buildings and they took over the telephone and the telegraph and went to protect the winter palace but the military revolutionary committee they took the ship the ship aurora the big huge ship aurora it sailed through river neva and it has taken to uh, capture the winter palace and all the important officers government officers of kerensky's government were under the control of mrc kerensky's minister surrendered bolshevik party took its action 
and a this action of bolshevik party was now supported by the uh, russian all russian congress it has approved and by october which has started by the end of december entire moscow region also came into the control of bolshevik party and they completed the establishment of bolshevik rule after seizing power from the kerensky's government once again we will have a revision of this one this seizure of power was planned by lenin he was afraid that provisional government is becoming widespread and more authoritative so he planned a careful seizure with leon trotsky who is leon trotsky he is the leader of mrc mrc military revolutionary committee when he came to know kerensky alexander kerensky the leader of the menshevik party and provisional government when he came to know that the bolsheviks are attacking and a secret seizure is going to happen he ordered his men to go and capture these regions which were under the bolshevik party but through a ship ship aurora you need to remember the name of ship aurora ship aurora sailed through river neva river neva and they crossed through the river neva went to the mid winter palace captured the building ministers surrendered bolsheviks were supported by the all russian congress and they also they also completed the rule establishment in entire russia and also capture of moscow by december children once again i would like to go to the february revolution and give you another description of it yes what you need to know is it was winter time during the winter time the river neva goes like this towards the right side are the workers towards the left side are the fashionable buildings here only winter palace is there the workers lived under minus 40 degrees abject poverty conditions were deplorable they wanted to ask justice for this when these workers of putilo iron factory were dismissed they moved from this region passed through river neva they went here and they wanted to go to winter palace and ask for justice but the czar and his troops on the cossacks that is soldiers on horses on february 22nd when the women were dismissed from the factory that day is called as the international women's day they were dismissed they were joined by many other workers almost 50 factories or so when they asked for justice the workers came and attacked over them all these working class people dispersed once again they came back on february 24th 25th this time they have checked the different uh, government buildings and they ransacked the thoroughly and on 26th of february the soldiers who first controlled them those soldiers these workers all of them they formed one group and that group is called as soviet soviet means a congress soviet means a group soviet means an association this association formed together and these all people along with the duma members elected members all together formed the provisional government and that provisional government together went to tsar and asked him to abdicate the throne abdicate is to give up the throne then on march 2nd tsar he abdicated the throne then the provisional government was formed and that provisional government leader is kerensky now i hope you are clear children thank you